So a brand new Foot Centurion's Icon SPC has just been leaked. So as a result, we're going to talk about the best investments you guys can make for this. So just for the video, does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just four pound, four euro, all free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox, and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is talking about the best investments you guys can go and make for the brand new lead Icon SBC. Now, next week we've got Fence Centurions and there are some pretty mega SBCs coming. The likes of Vidage is coming, the likes of Odegaard is coming, the likes of uh, Mudrick is coming. We're also likely to get other Icon SBCs and other top end player SBCs. So as a result, fodder is gonna be a really good investment. After this week, it was relatively underwhelming. So there are 24 players that you need to buy a few of to, to get these 88 rated squads. And therefore these top end SBCs coming, presuming that they're not going to heavily undervalue them or make them, you know, 185 rated SBCs, we're expecting to see 88 and above go back up to those crazy prices uh, or just do even better than they were previously. So for example, we saw 89s up to 52k. We saw, I don't think 88s got too much higher than they are now. We saw 90s got up to like to 65k and I can expect the exact same thing again. But I wouldn't buy them yet. Or I guess there's a clause with that. Now, if we don't get the Vidic SBC on the Friday, because I think it's more likely we get the Odegaard, because that was the first leaked SBC. Now, Odegaard basically comes with his problems because Odegaard only has two-star weak foot. Odegaard only has... He hasn't got an overly desired play style. He's, again, lacking in the pace. And I think if they go and release this SBC on the Friday, we're not going to see the Rodrigo effect, which is when there's an SBC that's released, which is so good that even though everyone saved packs for Foot Centurions or everyone saved packs for Rule Breakers, this SBC was so good that it made fodder rise instead of dropping when there was an increase in supply. Well, Odegaard's base card is used nowhere near as much as uh, Rodrigo. The only thing good for Odegaard's card is that it informs 100k, so it does demonstrate there being a certain level of demand, but I just don't think we're going to see Rodrigo levels. And because of that, I think you're not in any hurry to go and buy fodder. In fact, wait till 10pm on Friday through to 10 a.m. on Saturday to buy your fodder. So what are we gonna look to buy? Now I said earlier, the most optimal things for top end Icon SBCs, we're looking are 90s, 89s, and 88s. That's because these players, again, just don't have the supply that EA demands them. So what's really nice at the moment, by the way, is EA has increased all their price ranges. This works for and against investing in fodder. It works for because it means you can invest a lot easier. It works against because it means that players don't become extinct. And because players don't become extinct, it's not like there's a smaller pool of players. Because right now, 90s have price ranges of, well, 95 and 100k. 89s, who previously had price ranges of about 30k, now have 70k. And 88s, who previously had price ranges of 25, now have up to 42. So you can say that EA is uh, nowhere preparing the art for the flood. You know, they, they've increased all the price ranges because, um, well, they, they've messed up once and uh, I don't believe they want to do that again. So what I'm going to give you right now is going to be the splits I would go for the fodder. So I wouldn't invest in anything below an 84 because the return on investment is pretty rubbish. So 84s, I'd go and put 10% of your coins on. Potentially, that'll be a club stock. Again, you're not going to want to go and fill too much of your traps list with them, but... You know, so you have to go and pick up a bunch of 84s. I'd put 20% onto 85s because 85s are better for your low tier SBCs and your low tier upgrade packs. Uh, and they normally outperform the 86s, which means I'd only put 10% onto 86s because it's very rare that 86 are the best performing fodder when it comes to low tier stuff. I'd go and put 10% on 87s. Again, 87s aren't normally the best performers. I'd then go and put 20% onto the likes of 88s because 88s are normally your best performers. Um, when high rated SBCs are required. It's a little bit hard to look at previous data with the likes of 88 pluses because a lot of them went extinct every time. So we don't really have too much to work for. And then I'd go and throw about 15% on 89s and about 15% on 90s. And if you want to change that split, you can go 10% on 89s and 20% onto 90s. Like I say, it's a bit awkward to look at the previous data because all, half these cards were extinct, half these were extinct, and then I think literally all these were extinct. So Previous data on the high rated stuff is a little bit harder to analyze. But when it comes to your cheap stuff, your 85s are your best performing on your uh, really, really cheap stuff. 84s are relatively good, and then 87s and uh, 86 and 87s are a bit naff. Now, when do you want to go and sell this fodder? Now, obviously, it depends what gets leaked, because at the moment we've got three good leaked SBCs, and normally you get about five SBCs in the week. Um, so, again, it depends if we have anything well demanded. Normally, your best bet is to go and sell your fodder 
if you want to risk free after Tuesday. Now, the reason it's kind of risk free after Tuesday is because there's like nothing really to panic about. But if you were to hold on to after 6 p.m. on the Wednesday, the reason there is panic after 6 p.m. on the Wednesday is because we go into division rivals. We also, after 6 p.m. on a Wednesday, often get promo packs, which means, yes, you can gamble that there'll be a well-demanded SBC. But if the well-demanded SBC is not countered by the panic selling because of division rivals and the panic selling because of promo packs, it will go down. And that's the luxury about Tuesday. There's no promo packs and there's no panic selling. Now, there was UCL marquee matchups, I think, uh, this week, so it was a little bit of unfortunate to show the trend. But, oh no, that came on the Monday, sorry. But, um, yeah, we can see right here on the Tuesday, you didn't really have anything to panic about. And then, again, they kind of held 19k. But it was after 6pm on the Wednesday, and they went from 19k down to 17k. And again, I could do this even with the, um, the high-rated fodder, especially because the high-rated fodder wasn't really needed. We can see it held up here to the Wednesday, and then Wednesday after 6 p.m. it went here from 26 down to about 24.5. 84, 88 didn't really get that inflated, so there's not really much for them to be panic sold. So you basically have up till Tuesday after 6 p.m. to sell. So you're going to go and buy on the Friday, and you're going to go and sell on the Tuesday. Now, if you did want to gamble, you've got, again, Wednesday after 6 p.m. you can gamble on. It's just very risky. <laughs> it's very risky unless we get an exceptionally well-demanded SBC. Now, there's also the opportunity that if 88s do really well and there are no really expensive SBCs leaked, what you can actually do is if the really high rated stuff does well, does well, but the low rated stuff doesn't do that well. Let's say by Sunday, the, these 88s are already up. Let's say they went down to 22k and they're up to 30. What you might want to do, if there's nothing else good leaked and there's about another two or three SBCs leaked but they're not going to require 88s, you could go and sell your 88s and then reinvest in 85s, presuming these aren't inflated. Because what's happened is the more players become inflated, the more risk there is for them to drop. Obviously, it does mean they can rise more if there's, you know, more well-demanded SBCs. But if all the SBCs are leaked and would not really need 88s, then what you can do is you can sell the 88s and buy the 85s. Because if the 85s aren't inflated, they're not really risky to hold. They're not likely to go down in price. So that's another play you can do regarding fodder. So we can see that Team Reese just rose and rose and rose with the accumulation of SBCs without the real heavy resupply. Now this even rose with there being the untradeable inform pack. And that reason for that is the untradeable inform pack doesn't really supply people with 84 rated informs. It's normally a lot, lot lower rated, which as a result means he can rise. So if I want to look at inform fodder to go and buy for the likes of um, Icon SBCs and co, we're looking to buy them at the exact same time. We're looking Friday late evening, or we're looking Saturday morning. Now, anything above an 83 will work, and I really like 83s because they're really rare to get. So picking up the likes of a Yomi at like 10.5 is really good. 84s are decent because, again, they're kind of like the high, well, the lowest rating. That's still slightly rare. There's so many like 82s, 81s, and 80s, but as soon as you get to 83 and 84 is where they start getting rarer. So the likes of Barnes will be a nice, go, uh, nice player to go and pick up. There's no 85 rated in the current team of the week, but we do have a 87 with the likes of Luis Alberto, and I believe that's all she wrote. So we look at it in terms of fodder buying Luis Alberto, Adeyomi, and Barnes, and again, we look at buying them about 10 p.m. on the Sunday, and we'd be look at selling them. Uh, well, the sell time of these is actually a bit interesting because what you can do is you can wait till Wednesday, and if we don't have a team of the week of said rating, uh, in the next team of the week, they're actually quite good out of packs. So, for example, if we look at last week, we can see that there was a 86 Rapone. But 86 Rapone wouldn't really be that favour to drop in price if there's no 86s in the current team of the week that are SBC fodder. Sadly, there are 87s, which is a little bit close. But let's say next week there was no inform SBC fodder above 85 rated. Then what would happen with Luis Alberto is he'd just rise and rise and rise out of packs. So... Regarding informs, what I would probably do is see what's in the up-and-coming team of the week, see if any fodder competes with it. There's a chance there's no 83 rated team of the weeks, which would work really well for her. There is a chance we get no 84 rated team of the weeks. I mean, I think it was, what, two weeks ago we didn't really have any 84 rated fodder because Giroud and Romero never really hit fodder. So 84 rated like Alderville would have done really well because Romero and Giroud would never have got too cheap. So, um, yeah, so the Elioni, Barnes and Luis Alberto, I'd wait till Wednesday see what the next week's team of the week's looking, see if there's any high rated for that's going to replace them. If there's not, they're going to keep rising for the next week's Ascension. If there is, you probably want to go and sell and play it safe, because I imagine they probably would already be up by then. And I'd say that wraps it up, really. Uh, again, to, to go through it quickly, you're going to buy it Friday between 10pm 
to 10 a.m. on Saturday. If there is no good SBC on Saturday, then maybe cheaper 10 p.m. Saturday to 10 a.m. on Sunday. And then Team of the Week 4 day, you're going to hold and see what's in the up and coming Team of the Week, see if they're replaced. If there's nothing, you can hold on to them for another week. If there is stuff, you can sell them. And Gold 4 day, you're going to sell after 6 p.m. on Tuesday to play it safe, or after 6 p.m. on a Wednesday if you're going to risk it more. That has been that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.